So hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to yet another video. Today is the 14th of May, uh, it's another month and I, I don't know, it's it's funny because I think this is the first uh, vlog or I'm starting this vlog on this month. Like, this is the first entrance, you know, in this month of May. I feel like um, it has come so fast considering that there was a day in this country we were told till further notice. Uh, we didn't know till further notice is one week later. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to get into that detail because um, many people will float, especially those who are not in the country. So anyway, guys, welcome back to yes, another video. I'm starting this video in the evening. I'm just coming from work. I wish I can show you this outfit. Let me just even show you this outfit, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you. Looking like a really serious uh girl, you know. This is that outfit where you can you can pull on the serious meeting. Actually, I had a brush, I've just removed my brush. I'll try and insert the picture here so that we can see the full fit for the day. I really underestimated this fit and um, until I went to uh, with it to the office and everyone was like, guy, you're looking so you're looking so decent and yet so corporate. It's so good. I had a necklace on. Um, I'm just telling you, I'm just starting this video actually up after I've even done some cleaning on my sink. I've even swept my carpet. So you can imagine, and I'm looking this good. I'm still looking this good. So you can imagine how I was looking in the morning. Yeah. How even welcome you guys? Yeah. <laughs> guys, I feel welcome, guys. Uh, I feel so happy every time when I'm I come here. That's why sometimes I'm so jumpy. I'm all over the place with my stories. Yeah, but, um it has been a good day for me honestly yeah so i just got home and decided you know what i'm not going to remove this outfit before i show you and at least i can take advantage and start another vlog here so this is where we start um it's back to school in the country and i hope it's taking you guys well considering that most of us were not even ready for back to school one minute you were told till further notice until the floods are you know the climate goes back to kind of normal but one week later until further notice turned out to be i think less than six days so we had to look for money we had to look for shopping we had to look for school fees transport and so on so it's not a so good start of the week for so many of us including me but anyway we thank god for the grace it has been indeed sufficient yeah so what do i want to tell you this outfit i got it and showed you i think in one of the vlogs that is either up by now or it should be going up this outfit it's not a skirt and a blazer this actually it's a whole dress but it looks like a skirt and let me tell you this uh this kind of uh, plated skirt i'm really becoming a fan of them are they called that yeah so i think like right now i have three of this and it's really they really complement my body honestly yeah you can wear when you're a number one girl the petite ones the plus ladies the plus women it really complements your body and let's talk for a minute about my face look at that glow you know and it was even better in the morning because i think right now i've sweated yeah and yeah so plus i removed my dreadlocks and i feel like i really look like a school girl i really look like you know that small guy in her 16 in her teens <laughs> yeah, lies. anyway i just feel light uh yeah my head wasn't looking really decent i think that's why i didn't want to start this vlog jana so jana i was a hot mess because let me tell you tell me why my hair was 80 percent locked because of those locks okay at this point i don't even know if i should be really ranting and telling you the truth about these things we install on our heads but anyway i think at the end of the day it really matters what really matters is your hair and probably where you're getting them installed because me if I knew I was going to go th down that road when I'm undoing those locks, honestly, I wouldn't even have taken that road and take it from me. Yo, I suffered. I stayed at the salon from around 11 to around 7.30. 
you know it got to a point i just told the lady you know what it, I, i'm done you're not blue drying my hair again i was feeling painful i was almost crying man it was painful so i ended up coming back to work with my hair not even fully straightened so it was fluffy ikashikana it got drizzled on yeah so it was really messy so uh jana everyone was telling me i i okay come away i so today this morning uh, when i was going to work i just decided to go in with some nice and lovely gel and i slid uh back um i laid it all back and honestly it really looked uh decent considering that my hair is natural so natural hair really sits well with some really good gel so i always go in with nice and lovely i don't really trust a lot of gel also on natural hair because again it's open air literally so i prefer nice and lovely that's the only gel i ever like i've ever introduced to my hair um apart from that i'm grateful there are so many things that are going on in the background and i think after this video uh, i think after this video i should be in a position at least to tell you and to let you in on some of one of the projects that i've been doing lately uh and i feel like uh it's finally you know ready to be introduced to you guys yeah so i want to rest a bit because on other news today man city is playing tottenham and their game today will determine if you're going to carry or you're going to lift the premier league i'm so excited but again i'm so tensed I just can't wait. Uh, as you all know, on uh, weekdays, the kickoff, the league kickoff is normally a late kickoff. So our game will start, not really our game. It's more like our game because, yo, uh, if all goes well today, like, man, we're going to take that league. Yeah, so uh, definitely today I'm on loan for Spurs. I'm definitely solid behind Tottenham. And I really just hope they win or if they don't win against city i just pray we get a draw honestly so that we can be able you know to be above city and finally take the lead uh the league yeah so it's around five um i want to rest a bit because uh i'm also not feeling so well i'm just all over everywhere but um i'm i'm, I'm, I'm kind of not feeling so strong uh but i've taken some meds yeah so i want to rest i want to sleep around uh, maybe one hour or yeah one hour and then i'll wake up prepare some food for my brother because my brother is around i think uh the next video now i'll tell you the reason why he's around it's part of the project i'm telling you about yeah so i'll wake up probably prepare dinner for him or he'll come and decide whether he wants to eat because i think we have some food in the fridge yeah come at akuleyo i won't uh, have to cook and then at 8 around 8 30 my friends will pick me up and then we'll go and watch the game yeah i know today we just need to be really strong because yo whatever and whichever way the game decides to take will be all eyes will be on us tonight and i'm just crossing fingers that all will go well yeah, so I think that's it, guys. Let me freshen up, remove all this, and then I sleep. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now. Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm not sure at this point it's a very good morning to all of us, but either way, good morning. It's on the 15th of May. That's on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I'm up and ready for work. I'm just waiting for my colleagues to pick me up, but before then, I just decided to come here. I really don't have much to tell you, but I think last when I was here, I was telling you about a game that we were supposed to go and watch Jana. It's not like our team was playing. As we all know, it was Spurs and City, and we really thought that Spurs was going to do us the honors, but yo... Turn out, uh, turns out that City came really prepared, but honestly, that game was not supposed to go the way it went. Uh, I don't know what Pep did uh, after the first half, but when they came back, I, I felt like the Spurs team, the first team, I don't know what happened to them. They were so solid the first 45 minutes, but man, when they came back, Haaland did that thing. Anyway, um, we still have one game in hand. 
City still has one game, so we really serve a God of 11th hour. And I still believe a lot can change with one game. A lot. This is football. This is Premier League. We have seen people losing it in the last minutes. I think Manchester can tell us that story better than anyone. So, uh, yeah, we still hope and we still fight. Yeah, um, away from that, what else was I supposed to tell you? Mm. Away from football, let's take a minute to appreciate that sun and that, you know, that natural makeup and that nude look. Yeah, I feel like right now the only thing that is making me really feel untidy and not a pretty girl are my nails. But let me tell you, they have really grown. They are really grown. I normally have really, the frames for my nails are really small. Like, look at that one. They are really small. Yeah, so I feel like I really want to go the natural way right now because um, I'm still struggling to, I don't even want to show you this other hand uh, because, uh, let me just show you. There's a really big difference between this side and this side. Like, mainly this thumb, I think when I was removing the gel gum, uh, it kind of interfered with, uh my nail structure so there is a side here that is really feeble so i feel like i don't think i can even capture this on camera because it's you can't be able to see it really well but they're so light it's like the, the way you can twist a plastic kifuniko a lid yeah that's how i feel with this um the side this other side of my you know my hand so i really don't want to do gel or tips again um, yeah i'll just wait i feel like uh he wiki ishe and then by next week at least this hand pia kuchas takwazi memeamea then i can go and just do natural gel yeah and i think i'll be i'll be okay that way uh, a friend of mine was asking me what lipstick i do because it gives out a natural vibe so i i don't know if i'll carry that combo let me show you that combo for the, uh, this lip gloss so that you can know what i normally put on so this right here is my uh is my lippy combo this is my day-to-day uh, lippy style uh, whether I'm going for work, whether I'm going for dates whether I'm going for outing I think I'm at that age where I just really prefer a uh, subtle makeup that really goes well with my my shade you see, whether I'm out whether I'm in the house it really, you know it's really natural and subtle, it's you know, it, it, once you just go in with a perfect liner, it really comes out clearly. Anyway, I'm telling you stories and I've not even told you. So I've always been applying this MAC Lippy. It's a matte one and it's nude. So this is the shade 114. Mm, can you see it really? Uh, it can't focus you guys. It can't focus. Anyway, it's... I'll kind of try and take a picture and then I'll insert it here. So this is the MAC uh, nude one. And then I always go on top after applying with this Katy Perry cover girl. Uh, this is the shade KP27. And this is how it looks like. At least this one you can be able to see. Yeah, so I go in with a, a brown liner, uh, eye pencil. Yeah, that's, that's, I think, my rule. And I think that's a really good rule when you really want your lippy to look good and to give you shape. So I go with this one and then this one. Yeah. And let me tell you, it really sits. It really sits. But both of these can go independently. Sometimes I just go in with this one, uh, my liner, and then this one. And it still sits. And then sometimes, most of the time, even before I got this one, I just used to apply this one. Yeah, but I really think this is thick. It's really thick. Let me even show you. You can be able to see. It's really thick. He can't focus. It's really heavy. So, one touch. No. I don't want to go above because I had already applied. You see? Really good. Yeah. That's what I always apply on my lips. Yeah, so I think that's it, guys. Um, whatever I wanted to tell you this morning and Miss Awa, I think I'll just tell you in the evening. But, yeah, I hope you're doing well. So, yeah, let me leave it here. Oh, 
I didn't show you my outfit, girl. I'm looking like a really good girl nowadays. If I show you the length of this dress, I'll insert a picture here, but let me tell you. <laughs> ah, hey, my mom will be so proud of me this week because the outfits I've been pulling. <laughs> They're really giving a good girl, eh? Ule mshita na mzuri wa home. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, I'm just trying a new style of, you know, putting really official dresses, corporate dresses, but they are kind of extra long and uh, kind of more decent and they're really, you know, they're hitting home. I'm, I'm really loving them and I think I'll, I'll just get more of them. This is one of the dresses I also showed you in one of those holes. Did I? I hope so. Yeah, it's also thrifted from the same same plug from the same same guy who has been selling me the other dresses. Yeah, so that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So, guys, later that weekend, I decided to wash my hair myself because, as you have seen uh, on the earlier clips, uh, like the entire week, I had my hair on on gel. Like I was styling my hair throughout the week using gel and i don't think gel is so friendly to natural hair or any hair honestly if you use it for so long so here i just wanted to wash it and then go to the salon have it blow dried because since i removed my locks my hair wasn't straightened to the max i want yeah so this is me detangling it and i was happy i didn't see a lot of breakage as i had seen it i had seen when i was undoing my locks yeah, so this went so well, honestly, and I went to the salon uh, with good results, honestly. The breakage was very little, very little compared to, you know, when I went to the salon. Yeah, so you'll see it, you see, very little. Yep. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to this vlog. It's on Saturday, the 18th, the 18th of May. And tell me what, guys, it's still raining in this month. Like, I thought you were done with El Nino at this point. The second El Nino, if I'm not wrong. So it's raining outside. It's it's raining. I'm telling you. Yeah, I think one minute we, were, we had already started getting used to Joey Menza Kutoke. And then all of a sudden we are seeing clouds. And then it start raining anyway forgive my situation up here uh i was just washing my hair i'm just coming from the shower um washed my hair showered and then i want to step out but i'm going to blow dry my hair so if i go out to blow dry my hair and it's raining uh natural hair by the time i'm going i'm getting back to my house it will have all shrinked so i'm thinking i'll just wait until voice and then i'll step out Yo, guys, I'm really contemplating on whether I should go back to black because I feel like this dye is really making my my life hard, uh, my hair life hard already. I'm not used to my natural hair being so hard the way it is right now. Yeah, so the reason I decided to wash my hair, it's actually barely one week because I removed my locks last weekend. And after removing them, obviously, they treat your hair and wash and blow dry. But... Uh, since Monday, I've been styling my hair with gel and I really don't like uh, waiting three until when you, you can clear that gel. I applied that gel for three days and I know three days already and my hair had not, I had kind of taken a break from all this. So I felt like it was too much for my hair. So I know near Sarah, yeah, considering that I was in salon on Saturday and I spent almost 2k yeah for nothing you can't even show and it feels really bad honestly yes yeah, so i want to go and blow dry my hair i've conditioned my hair i've treated it washed it i'm confident in my skills and the things i use on my hair so i want to go and wash it i'll kind of um, with the option i don't know if i should go back to black i'm really thinking of buying the black shampoo uh the dye I think it's normally around 200 bob or 100 shillings i don't know at this point it's not even about the price really but um it's about my hair yeah but immediately i get it straight and my hair always looks so beautiful like a, a small wig so i don't know yeah i think let me get everything that i need and then i'll step out and then probably you'll see the result later or 
tomorrow. Guys, I'm now ready to step out. I've really kind of, uh, I don't know, compacted my hair and Danny. And <laughs> from off, I think someone will think I've kind of, you know, done the big cuts. Yeah, and this made me really miss my short hair days. <laughs> you can't even say there's a lot of hair inside here. Yeah, but this is my situation. Uh, the rain has kind of stopped, so I want to step out. Go to the salon and on my way, I think I'll pick up some things for dinner. Yeah, because my brother is around. Yeah, so let me step out before it starts raining again. So hello guys, minute later and yeah, <laughs> this is me, this is me, I'm telling you guys, this is literally what we call and what you can just best describe as black girl's magic. Where was all this hair? Like literally, the time I was living here, it's like I didn't even have hair, my hair was this and I just want to show you because I was really shocked. I think the people who were handling my hair, my hair over the weekend were just not doing it justice. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And you know, the dye has finally gone to the tips. Yeah, and let me tell you, I don't know. Uh, I think last thing, last weekend I was just scared because where the people who handled my hair that weekend, I think either they were using the, the products which were not really the best. But guys, look at this. I went to that salon. It's barely 30 minutes later. I'm back home. My hair fixed perfectly, blue dried the way I love. Look at that. You'll even think my hair is relaxed. Oh, guys, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I was so scared. I thought I could find a blow dry it. But oh, guys, I'm impressed. Yo. So when I went to the salon, uh, I normally have this good and bad habit of always carrying my my hair oil or my hair food. Uh, for me, the one oil I always use on my hair is the TCB All Natural. I didn't carry it, but the product they used on my hair, the oil rather, was still okay. It smelled nice. It, just, it had a good smell or scent or whatever. But I love my TCB because it always has that minty thingy going on. Uh, its consistency is always so good and it makes your hair smell good so even if you go a week without even oiling your air, your hair every time you just do this you don't get that bad smell coming out of your hair yeah so i don't know i won't apply any oil right now because i feel like i'll have too much i'll probably apply tomorrow some tcb to get that minty and that good smell and then yeah do you see that guys do you see that do you see that and let me tell you guys um i'm just here to tell you that whether you really apply cheap or um expensive dye i've just come to realize that bleaching is not really the best for natural hair I, not even hair natural hair i think it's even worse for relaxed hair yeah for my hair is not like my hair is natural but I just feel I have good hair, honestly. Because I've had so many people telling me, Hi, I don't know. I think peer maintenance and really it's different. We have different hair textures. So don't um, texturize your hair. Don't bleach your hair because you feel like another person is looking good with that kind of color or that kind of style. You don't even know the repercussion it can have on your hair. On your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, I'm so happy. I was so scared nearly I'm gonna take more than what I had witnessed already because honestly, let me finish my statement. I don't pack a bleach, yes, I don't want to name brands. But whether you buy EY 150 or you buy like fifteen hundred, at the end of the day I think but you're quite some really not so good effects on your hair. 
yeah so your hair either becomes so hard like mine my texture for my hair has really changed so it looks beautiful but i feel like it has really affected the texture yeah and um some of them will experience uh breakages uh, for me i've experienced that like i think 10 percent i know people who have even experienced like losing hair in you know in huge amounts or chunks or percentage yeah so yeah just be wise when you're choosing these bleaches but for me i'm happy <laughs> and you know at least the, the dye is almost you know coming to the tip it's the inquisition in nature yeah so let me put back my hair in a pony and then i'll have it wrapped so that it can keep that moisture in you know it's been a minute since it get it got this too much heat and too much oil yeah so i'm not trying to kind of rush it let me turn so that you can see <laughs> oh yeah guys anyway so that was summer guys i'll talk to you tomorrow guys welcome back to my channel i honestly don't know if this is a new vlog uh but whichever the case i really hope uh you're doing well it's on tuesday in the evening i'm just coming from work and let me tell you guys it's raining again it's raining again i thought we were done with this season and of all days yani my hair is open you know and of all days, I went to work without an umbrella. I don't know. I think Jana, I went to get some some grocery outside and I carried my umbrella. So by the time I was coming to my house, my umbrella was soaking wet. So I had to let it dry. And then after it dried up, I have to somewhere where I just keep the things I'm not using currently. So I just ended up throwing my umbrella there because I didn't want to keep it back, to put it back to my bag or in my bag when it was still wet and it's the bag that carries almost everything i go to work with so when i was living in the off when i was leaving the office today i was so confident you know like people are waiting for me in the vehicle and i'm looking for an umbrella inside my bag so that i can confidently walk through you know from the office to the vehicle and let me tell you i couldn't even find my umbrella yeah so just had to look for a scarf because it's my natural hair and water yo ni mafuta namaji they don't get along ki dogo tu kinyesha hivi i'm telling you all this glow will fade away within a minute within a second yeah so right now i just want to kind of oil my my hair because in between those movements uh where i was dropped i had to cross uh the road to my my place where i live so uh nimenyeshwa kidogo and already i can feel the smell that kafani smell yamvoe kinyeshe nyule yako and you know my hair is dyed so i'm also not so sure if it's so safe right now you can zapunya show it can shrink really badly because this dye kind of makes your hair so hard and kind of dry it dries up so fast so i want to go in with this uh anti-dandruff hair food with coconut oil and menthol my favorite i don't know why i always call this menthol mint i'm sure in so many videos you've had me say mint it's menthol sorry so if you ever hear me say the tcb mint oil i don't mean the i don't mean mint i mean menthol for some reason they just have the same features anyway that's what i'm about to do after that i want to snack on some things i got this morning i got a delivery this morning from someone very thoughtful uh yeah it's 
written the uh, delivery with love i got this package this morning and there are two of them inside so uh this is uh these are cakes from at cafe and this is uh, salted caramel there is no love since we are than the love of food that's by george bernard show yeah for sure for sure there is no love that can be compared to this and the person who delivered this one knows too well knows too well i love sugary things i must say too i love this so they came two packs that's the first one and then we have the second one yeah so that's all we have here i'll just make probably because this thing has a lot of sugar if you know the cakes from art cafe they are super sweet but again they are so i don't know they are they have a lot of sugar so i'll probably make some i don't know some some coffee or i think i'll just do some coffee or some hot chocolate and then try and catch up on some of my favorite youtubers or probably watch something on netflix as i try to clear a mess somewhere behind i have some clothes that are yet to be folded yeah there yeah so that's how my evening lineup looks like uh it's i think how many days since we had the last premier league uh it's on sunday the last uh, games were on sunday the title went with city it was a sad night for us but anyway we live to fight another day yeah so no football till august we're just waiting for the last round of fa that's man city and manu obviously i cannot support city as much as i hate man united i honestly don't think i'd be behind any team on that fa cup honestly i hate manchester's for all the reason honestly <laughs> not hate hate with that big word but our relationship can never be a love relationship honestly so i don't know whoever win i just hope man city beats manchester united for all the wrong reasons i don't know why i'm still supporting manchester city to win the fa after they just took the premier league from us but anyway it's a sure bet that manchester united are not taking the fa cup we are just there to confirm it <laughs> the same way they were telling us we are not taking the premier league i can bet for sure man city is taking that um cup yeah so um, but it doesn't make us equal manchester fans it doesn't make us equals the fact that we'll both walk out without cups doesn't make us equal man we're not even close to top four <laughs> anyway guys that's it let me oil my hair i'll hit the shower and then come and on snack on and snack on my my sweet salted caramel yeah so that's it for now i'll see you probably tomorrow bye for now so guys this was the next day and uh we left uh, the office quite early so me and my colleagues decided to go to this place that we all love most of us have been to this place before and we always find it a really cool and a private space to just go and relax and talk you know without feeling like you know people are kind of limiting you sometimes we can go here when you know when we are probably in our uniforms when you are branded and you just feel honestly safe and comfortable it's just a beautiful place i'm sure you've seen this place in one in some of my vlogs uh this is a really beautiful place and yes, we were here again because we left the office quite early and we had some time to spare. And of course, some good drinks will do with a peaceful and a serene environment. So yeah, it's Brook, the uh, it's Brooks Lodge again. It's Brooks Lodge and Spa. So we were here again. I don't need to tell you how beautiful this place is. You can just see it for yourself. Yeah, so enjoy the views. Closer, we can do my play.
So hello guys, welcome back to this vlog. Uh, it's on Friday. <laughs> I've just left the office. Of course, it's not time. It's not yet time to leave the office, but uh, I just got a ride and I just thought I should leave. I should leave uh, because I want to get to Nairobi Mapema. Tomorrow I have errands that I have to really work on and finish up on some of them. I know Sunday will be a busy one for me. I honestly don't even know if I'll go to church on Sunday as much as I really wanted to go to church. Yeah, but I'll see once I get to Nairobi. For now, I want to pass by the house park. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start my safari. I'd rather we'll, we'll start our journey to Nairobi. Yeah, it has been a really packed week for me yeah anyway don't have much because this sun is killing me it's really burning it's doing the most honestly yes yeah, so. so hello guys uh i'm home as you can see i'm ready i've packed i've taken some items for my bro because he's not going home he's staying here till he gets used to this environment but he wasn't even in the moods for going home yeah so i passed uh by picked up some things that i felt like he'll be needing over the weekend when i'm not there as much as he's a big boy he's still my little brother so i have to make sure like the two days when i'm not here he survives yeah but at least he can do so many things on his own he can cook yeah so i leave him with a key actually he has a spare key for my house and he has his own keys for his place yeah so he's covered in terms of food everything yeah so i think i'll just see him on monday because obviously i'll be back here for work um, i don't know if i'll be fixing this hair over the weekend but honestly i'm loving the way it looks <laughs> yeah but we'll see we'll see i'm not also a fan of combing my hair but i feel like over the period i was having that lock dreadlocks i kind of missed this yeah and guys my hair has grown honestly as much as I was ranting, it has grown. So, because by the time I was uh, doing the locks, my dye was here on the roots, Kabisa. And you can see it has moved so many. That's growth, right? Yeah, so I'm just waiting my colleague to come. Um, yeah, and we hit the road. Yeah, it's going to be a busy weekend for me, but. I'm just praying all goes as I've planned. Guys, I've told you this is the year. This is the year for me. It has been marathon. But I'm almost I'm almost finishing up on the things um that has been keeping me busy and up and down. And then finally I can be able to let you in on everything. Yeah, and we can thank God and praise Jesus together. Yeah, so I don't know, guys. I don't know if I should be ending it here because I feel like this video is already long. But I'm also feeling like, mm, let me just chill. Over the weekend, something good might happen, right? Yeah, and then we can finally close it on Monday. I edit. I've been trying to edit another video. Tell me why it has failed twice. Twice. I don't even know how to, because I tried now if I a job, I tried now if I a how. It, it's, it's just disappointing me. And then every time I'm uploading again, I have to do type the title, type the descriptions, do what it's it's just annoying it's just annoying but i'm really praying finally to upload so that i can be able to uh post another one because i've edited two videos but now you can't upload them on youtube altogether because i wanted to enjoy the first one and at least watch enjoy and then i release the other one yeah so i think i have three videos guys by the time all these videos are coming up i know it will be even in june but at least i mentioned dates in between my videos so i hope you will flow with the vibe yeah so that's it guys i'll see you on my name bye for now
Good morning, welcome back to this vlog. It's on Tuesday in the morning. I'm just uh, finishing up on, you know, preparing for work. And then I'll step out. <laughs> I'm here, guys, because I want to end this vlog. Uh, apparently, the entire weekend, I did a lot. I got a lot. Um, but I think at this point, I've already placed everything where it's supposed to be. I don't know why, but I think then I didn't have that excitement and uh, when you want to show you things yeah so we got in jana as usual went to work in the evening i came feeling so tired uh, and it, the weather was kind of cold so i just showered and you know just became a sofa uh, yeah potato like i didn't uh wake up from my sofa until i was going to bed I was just watching some YouTube and then I was watching a movie and then I watched one movie, not a series. Yeah, and then I just proceeded to bed. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know. Ugh, but it was a Monday, but I feel like for Monday sometimes for me, I slow. And I had lots of activities in the office, so that explained it. Yeah, so I think I'll just end it here. Oh, it wasn't also such a good weekend for me because um, Manchester United won the FA Cup. <laughs> like, I won't explain it further. Like, your, it wasn't a really good weekend and a happy one for us. But I feel like we just had a walkover, honestly. <laughs> anyway, it's a dance season, it's a wrap. Yeah, we just leave it here and we meet again on August another season right yeah so i'm here i'm up and ready i'm ready way early before pickup time so this is the time where if i'm not careful i find myself you know dozing out on the sofa because i'm still sleepy i slept late yeah as much as i came early and i didn't do anything i still slept late funny yeah so i think that's it guys i'll end it here um yeah if you haven't subscribed uh kindly go ahead and subscribe give me a big thumbs up because it helps my videos get a bigger audience and always kind of try and check on the description box 
because i always put more information in the description box yeah so you can be able to see or rather know how the video is flowing and get to know the things i'm kind of trying to share to you yeah so subscribe subscribe guys we are on the road to 1k subscribers kindly guys get me there before the end of this year and i'll be really grateful to you all so we continue believing in possibilities and i know for sure i will hit the 1k mark before the end of this yeah yeah so that's it guys allow me to end it here i'll see you on my next one and always remember to stand out and represent possibilities wherever you are until next time bye take care of yourself and god bless you so much mm.